What's going on guys, it's your boy Luke here from All Specialist Gaming and today I am bringing you the one and only tutorial that is asked and asked over many YouTubers over many videos and this is how to reduce a video file size and there's actually very various different softwares that you guys can use to decrease the file size while still retaining the quality of the video in hand or in question so basically I'm just going to be showing you probably the best program you can use to once you've firstly rendered the actual video so either in a program such as Camtasia Studio or Vegas Pro and yeah once you've done that if it's a bit too big for your liking if you have a really slow internet and smaller video size, file sizes is going to be much more suitable for you to upload then this is really a tutorial for you or if you just want to find a way to make any video size smaller okay so first off you need to go and download a program off the internet and this program is called handbrake you're going to click on the top link this should, and this link will be in the description by the way where it says the big red button that says download handbrake 0.9.9 .9 for Windows XP or later. Underneath that, it should have a bracket, other platforms, close bracket. You just click on that. This is going to then send you to the downloads page for the handbrake. And depending on your iOS, so Mac, Windows, Ubuntu, other, whatever, you just download what, like the setup for your computer. So mine's going to be a Windows 7 64 bit. And it's just going to start downloading in about five seconds. I've already done that, so I'm not going to do that again. Just go through all the set processes, everything. It's really easy to do. And let's get started. So we've got handbrake down here, and it's, um, it's like a pineapple and a glass of cocktail or something. But I'm just going to open that up here and show you what the screen should look like on the six, no, on the 22nd of June, 2013. So this is what it looks like, depending on when you're going to be using this and when you're downloading it and when you're watching this video it may look slightly different it may be a different update for the program uh, sorry about that and yeah so this is the basic window you should get with it so the video in like question that I'm going to be doing today is a video that I'm going to be bringing out soon but the file size is a bit too big for my liking to be honest it's 151 megabytes it started off being about 16 odd gig um, before I rendered it. That got it down to 151 megabytes, which is amazing. And that's just from Camtasia Studio, which again I'll leave a link in the description for where you can download Camtasia Studio 7. I'm not going to give you anything to get patched. You can just do that yourself. I'm sorry about that, but I don't want to get any copyright strikes on this channel. So yeah, I'm going to get this video file size down from 151 megabytes. I'm going to try and get around 50 odd meg megabytes if I can. And why did I just close that? I need that. So first off, you just want to get the video that you're going to try and decrease the file size. And drag it into the output settings here. Just drag it down. This is going to bring it up all here. You can see the video title is this and source is that. It's the three minute 52 second long clip you want the container to be an mp4 size you don't want to do anything on these first two tabs then go to the video tab the quality the constant quality should be selected and you're going to change it from 20 odd to around 25 because this then decreases the quality no decreases the file size whilst retaining near enough the exact same quality sometimes it can be even better quality than when you've rendered it most of the time it's exactly the same I haven't seen any difference so far but yeah that's all you need to do just drag it in and do that and now you can just go up to the start button here and select that oh actually no you need a destination folder sorry about that so just click the browse button by destination I'm going to click on my desktop save as type mp4 and I'm just going to put this as a test YouTube and I'm going to save that now you can click the start button and down here it's going to start the encoding and it's going to start making it into the mp4 file down here and I'm just going to pause the video here and I will be back once it's about to finish rendering 
Okay, I'm back, and as you can see, it's just about to finish rendering and setting it all out here. Once it's finished, it's going to say Q finished or encoding finished. Now, that's all done. You can just close down the handbrake program. And let's see, the original file was 151 megabytes. This file down here is the file that we just rendered. It's the same video. And it is 56.4 megabytes, so that's gone down by just under 100 megabytes and that's going to take about 10-15 minutes to upload for me that's so much easier to upload and if we just check the quality here the quality there is no difference from the actual quality of the old video and yeah it's a much smaller size so hope this tutorial helped you if it does remember to hit the like button the subscribe button to see more tutorials Favorite the video, share the video, comment on the video for what you want to see from tutorials, and tell us what you think of the new intro that we did for this video. Um, see what our share, just subscribe, see what else we want. See ya later. Peace.